What's up, gang? Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro, and I'm here with a quick update on the VV app. And the market is back open, which is very surprising to me that the market would be coming back online the day before the drop, just the day before. But maybe this is to allow people to move some items and earn some gems before the drop. I'm assuming they're going to shut down the market before the drop tomorrow so as not to clog the servers and allow people to have a good smooth drop day. But looking at these numbers, man, oh man, this is very surprising. Check out how many Scotty Youngs that are listed right now. It's at 562. So let's just jump in and see what we observe. And as I went through this the first time, I observed that there was really no difference since the market was open last and what we're looking at right now. Now, the number one thing that I was hoping to see is a sort feature, a sorting function. And as we can see, it's not there. Now, you did notice that the numbers were strangely changing as soon as I opened this up because it's loading so many, it takes a long time to load. So here we see some various prices. There's a 55 for an FE5201, and I'm just going to scroll down and check these out. There's a lot of good prices on here, and I did see a few that were listed below 50 gems, which is a really good, that would be a steal of a deal. But as I was moving through the list and trying to make it through all of these, these listings here, 500, over 500, it's just impossibly too long of a list to have without having a sorting feature. But as I was trying to scroll down through the bottom, the screen would blank out. And sometimes when I would leave this on, just the current four that you would see, I would see that the listings started changing and the prices were changing because it was still trying to load the whole list. I think it just did it right there. Okay, so there's a 49 for a 1627, which is a great price. Let's just go ahead and grab that and see what happens. So here it is. Ed McGinnis, Rise of Ultraman. Actually, that's not the one that I wanted. I was looking for the Scotty Young, so that's not... Such a great deal. If this was a Scotty Young, that would be a steal of a price. But it did come back to this same item listed for 49 gems. So that's good that it didn't glitch out there. But as we scroll through, let's see again if we stop and if these numbers change. Because if these numbers are changing, we know that there is a refresh problem. I hope I can get it to reproduce the issue that I had before, where when you scroll down, so far down through the list, it will start to blank out. It got frozen on me and just blanked out right in front of my very eyes. And right now, we are still looking good, but I'll still load. We're able to load new listings. And there was one for 45 down here that had a pretty low number, which is something else you need to consider. With the randomness of how people are listing these, a lot of folks are giving no regard to the mint number. You'll see some people selling at a very high price with a very high mint number, like 7610 for 98 gems. And then right below that, you'll scroll on down. Look at this 800 gems for number 67. I don't think they're going to get that. That's a little bit aggressive. But let's say here's an auction for 144 at 0744, item number 0744, that might be a pretty good price right there. But let's say uh, we'll keep on scrolling down and we'll find one that has a much lower mint number. Like, let's say, for instance, 0673 at 100 gems. That is a very good deal. So we have these people that are listing higher prices for higher numbers and then some folks who obviously aren't even looking at what the mint number is and throwing it up for sale at a cheap price that is an arbitrage opportunity so if you grab that you could relist it at a higher gem price or you could snatch that thing up and list it on ebay and say hey looky here boys and girls i have a very low mint 
and it is very valuable and I can get it to you for the bargain price of X amount, twice of what you paid for it here. So that is a tip for you. Here's another one, 0673 for 100 gems. That's probably a good purchase right there. And I think you could end up flipping that on eBay and getting a much higher price. Right now, the eBay prices are not good. They're very low. It seems like there's a panic. Okay, now it's repeating. Do you see that I'm scrolling here and I'm back to FE0673 for 100 gems? That's the glitch. So we're starting to glitch out already. We'll probably get a blank screen any moment now if I keep on scrolling through here. And another thing is, we don't know what number of a listing that we are on. <clears throat> In other words, if there are 563 of these, we don't know if we're at number 100 right here or number 200. Or if we're repeating ourselves, and it, there it goes. Do you see the glitches? Do you see those numbers happening? That's what I'm talking about. So without knowing that this is listing number one or listing number 563, you could be wasting an incredible amount of time. So this is not ready yet. They're probably still working on it. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So anyhow, that's all I wanted to do is just point out these things that are happening with the market and hopefully we'll see some improvements there we are still really early on so not complaining but just pointing this out but hopefully you can take some of these tips and turn it into money let me know if you have done any arbitrage by plucking off these low listings the low prices on these listings and pushing them out to ebay i'd sure like to hear about it that's all I've got for now, and we'll talk to you later. This is Carlton Flowers, and I'm out.